Hello and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. I said we'd go to the Wield and we will go to the Wield. Now, what do we know about the Wield? There is things that do plague and there is things that don't get plagued. So, taking a plague doctor, well, it kind of speaks for itself. A plague doctor doctors plagues, which means it can heal blight and can cause blight. Unfortunately, most of the plague doctors is uh, available skills, at least, cause blight. Cause blight. Uh, well, this one, <laughs> basically, is what I'm thinking of. Uh, what's check we got? That's pretty good. That's good. And then these two are not so valuable in the wield, but these two can be done from any position. So maybe we think about unlocking incision, which can be done from this position. Let's uh, let's spec this out. If we have Jekry there, Jekry has managed to actually lose a lot more stress than everybody else in the previous fuck up that we made. If we take Viz, which we maybe should, what have we got? Thirty-one is fine. That's going to be a stressy type mission, which means we should probably take Miri again, because Miri will certainly be able to reduce their own stress. It seems to be happening all the time, and I don't know how. But how did you lose so much stress? Because I never used this. Ah, oh, whatever. Here's what positions do you want to be in? <laughs> 69. <laughs> um, if I put Viz in that position, then Miri can heal the stress. But if, then I wouldn't have Jekry in that position. Miri can go in... Everyone wants to be in this place. Ah! Okay, you can actually go at the back very easily. Maybe you should. Let's try that. You there, you there. We could take Psycho on another tanky mission because he did well. Maybe Rakuda? Holmesy just, like, ruined everything. Warren's Phobe. Wheeled Adventure and Warren's Phobe. Oh, okay. We'll take you to the wheel then. To the what? Yeah, we'll take you to the wheeled. Even though you succumb to blight like nobody's business. But we have a, a healer for the blight now, so that's a bit better. Maybe we should go in no tank at all. Ah, you can be the actual tank, because you have that ability that marks you. And activates riposte, so anything that's likely to attack something that's marked, we can force it on us. So then we should take... Uh, Dutch is in the back two positions. <coughs> I mean, Viz is good in these positions, but Miri can't heal Viz's stress. But then Viz does have the ability to heal his own stress, so maybe we should put Viz here. How does that sound? I think it sounds okay. Let's have a look at Trinkets. We'll pull them all back. Who's going to give us actual HP? Shit. We only have one person who can output HP, which is the big problem. Well, these are shit. That's okay. That could be bad. You can heal one. Do you have a heal that we could use? You can heal yourself. There's another bleed skill there. Viz can't heal anybody. Can you heal anybody? No. Ah, okay. We really only have one healer in the whole roster. So I guess we're going to do another DPS mission. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, except for the obvious problem with that. Which is that we'll die. Um, so we'll give you a bleed skill chance. We had two of those, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, we also need to go back and um, unlock Jekry's skill that we wanted to use. Stun resist should probably be on Jekry. I think so. Minus two dodge is okay, but not brilliant. 15% uh, <laughs> heal skill, sure. You may actually throw out a heal once in a while. Uh, there's maybe some uh, stress resist. Is there any of that? It's plus stress resist, and that's highway, man. There is not. There's a debuff resist. I think we should probably put that on you. Don't we have a stun resist? Oh, did we put that on you? Yeah. Maybe we should put that on him. 
Maybe we shouldn't. Screw it. You can have more HP. No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Let's go back to town and sort out Jekri's skills. Can we? I think so. Jekri. We want you to have incision. Maybe emboldening vapors as well? It's expensive. Binding gas and disorienting blast are kind of equal equivalent. That's a stun. We've got enough stuns. And that clears corpses, so that's very valuable indeed. And it shuffles the thing that we hit, which can uh, reorder the enemy party in such a way that the enemy party has no idea what the hell's going on. So I think we'll just keep what we've got at the moment. We'll replace the plague grenade, which actually hits the back. Replace noxious blast with incision, which is a bleed instead of a blight. We can still hit the back for blight, maybe, if we want to in the future. You're in the right position. Let's provision and see where we get. We are on a short mission again, because uh, I can't really be bothered <laughs> doing a full-length mission. Uh, just one stack of those. Stack and half of these. Uh, Wield will probably want some anti-venom. Oh, we've already got one from the Plague Doctor, so that's really good. Uh, probably some... Uh, I mean, we've got enough food. We can always sell back what we get. We'll take a couple of shovels. We didn't need the shovels last time, which is unfortunate, because... Not taking them is very expensive in terms of stress. But if you've paid for them, they're quite expensive in terms of cash, right? So if you don't use them, you have spent the cash, but you haven't actually made up the the... Equity and stress, baby. I knew all these paths once. We are exploring 90% of rooms, so we probably skipped that one or that one. Or maybe both, it depends how it really gets us. Right, a DPS run. We have no camping, because we're not going that long. It's a lot of. Let me think. One, two, three. It seems like several rooms. Oh, hello. No bad start. Well, I'm surprised, so. We'll stun this, we don't want the stress. Right, let's start bleeding on some things. Oh my god. That is outrageously good. I've forgotten how actually that is a really good uh, skill right there. So when you said prop. You got prop? You got prop? You got prop? You haven't got prop. Right, so we'll bleed this thing. How far away are you from death? You've got 4 HP and you're only going to take. You're going to take 5 damage, but you have to not have a go. Oh, you move forwards. That's interesting. And you avoided the bleed, which is extremely good. You've... Bleah. How are you, England? You've got a move. 8 HP. Homesy could kill you with one shot. Or we can definitely get rid of this. Or we can mark ourselves for... Now, we probably want to do some... Of course you roll the lowest. Homesy, seriously. Open the nine. It's done? No, just two HP. Maybe that's a being in that position problem with them. Struth. That's a lot of stress. I mean, these are the ones that don't have uh, the blight resist, of course. We would come across those first. Um, I would rather, if you're going to stress anybody, just stress this person. But I guess we can't win them all. Three to six. So either we stun it or it dies. I think we should stun or die this one, yeah. You have got 3 HP, so you will definitely die. Provided we hit. Which did seem to be a small problem with Holmesy in the last episode. Uh, they kept missing. Uh, I mean, those, uh, those few... Uh, Heirlooms we just got now are pretty good, so at least we're making the progress that we intended to make, which is to get enough stuff to upgrade the stagecoach. I think this requires bandages. I don't bring any. I will not. There's too much of a chance of taking uh, bad damage from the presumably the spiders and sharp things that live in there. Oh, a trap. And we dodged it. Good on this. Very dexterous are this. Hmm, where next? How about through the fucking door? Thank you. Pardon my French. I don't give a shit about French. 
I don't care what you think. Uh, well, at least they've paid off this time. I'm gonna just continue to take two shovels. I know I was going on about them. premonitions from last time, but well, a while ago. But honestly, I think two shovels is the right number of shovels. Can you use stack? We require only the strength. Oh, scouting is good. Obviously, we want to go. One, two. We want to go that way anyway because it's the least backtracking and therefore the least stress. This is uh, going to be a short mission, I think. This pack has already been looted by whom? It wasn't me, that's for sure. Well, you're not surprised. These are the things with prop. Oh my goodness. Seven. But. 10% stress damage until camp. Not a fan of that. You have prop, no dodge. High blight resist, high bleed resist, and you do these annoying swipe things. So I think we just manacles one of these. I hope that it, yeah, it stuns. And then we get to go. We don't need to medicine anything, which is actually working out really well. We haven't taken so much damage that we even need to use medicine. Mm, I think we just maybe try and get a bleed on this. What's your bleed resist? Twenty percent. It's going to do a good amount. It could do a good amount of damage. Um, and we might have to tank the stress damage from this as well. Yeah, 17. That is that is definitely some. Uh, right, now we get to reduce the prop on one of these. Probably this one. It's not closer to death yet, but it's also going to have more goes. So we want to kill it quicker. Make sense? Makes sense to me, whether it's sound logic or just, you know talking out my ass. We will find out, I suppose. Like we could crush it. Or we could try and stun it and send it backwards. I don't think we want to send it backwards, because then we can't reach it. Like, 10% accuracy could be really good. But we haven't missed anything yet, so I'm not entirely worried about the accuracy there. You're marked. Oh, I will be marked, which is fine. Except, alright. Right, this will reduce the damage on one of Right, okay, okay. So we'll just try and crush this. Because I want this to die. I know I'm spreading out the damage, it's not really the best of ideas. Um, but... We could transform. I don't really care to, I think. Uh, it doesn't move them, right? Yeah, uh, I want to... I basically want them all to die first, so I'm being very indecisive about it. Uh, let's stack up the incisions on this, I think. Now you're 2 damage per round and you have 7 HP left, so that will not quite kill you. Which is a shame. But you do 60% damage versus one. Which kills you! So that's great. I don't think that bleed will get rid of the corpse, unfortunately. Wait, must you shout? It kinda looks like you, Viz. It's just that you've got chains and stuff. I'll be honest, those, uh, those scraps look more comfortable than those chains. Can you die? Can kill it. I did kill it. That was a max roll, which was risky, but it paid off. You have a lot of stress right now. Accusation. Yeah, you can stress out the you can stress out Miri all you like, because Miri can just unstress. And resisted a debuff, which I don't even know what it was gonna be, so I'm down with that. Basically you can stress out everybody except him, um, you still seem to be stressing out him all the time. We are now on plus stress. Let's uh, reduce that a little bit. Because there's a stress thingy in there, so kind of won't stop. And we can use disorienting blasts to get rid of these corpses, which is very useful. We have 100% stud on this, and it has 10% stun resist, so 90%. Yeah, brilliant. That's exactly what we want to see. Of course, we could have stunned the one that hasn't had a go yet, but where's the fun in that? Yep. Nope. It's a bleed, but it's not enough. That's fine. No debuffs or anything, just five damage straight up. <sighs> Crush it into four HP and two coming off, so. Hmm. That heals you and does stress. You've got to go. I'm gonna actually heal and stress heal yourself. 
Because if I'd like at least one person to not die, right? Cry havoc, stress heals me. I could guard you. I don't think it's worthwhile because we just like kill these, right? 14 HP. Maybe it is worthwhile. Are you in Death Ranger? Yes, we've got one HP, so you're dead. That's perfect. You've got a stun bonus, but it's still 60% stun, right? 50%. We've got a 50-50 chance of stunning it. We've got a 0% chance of killing it, unless you get a crit. I think we go for the stun. Oh, of course we missed it completely. Okay. In that case, we stack up the bleeds and try and kill it before it has a go on the next turn, I guess. So you died. Please don't go first. Of course you're going first. Oh, you're going to stress out. Well, uh, Holmes is going into the, the brothel, I suppose. Or something similar. Probably just the brothel straight up. I think you're now basically dead. Yeah, 1 HP. I'm stunned, so... I will try and get... I want to try and get a heal out, but the only people who can heal are me. Oh, it heals everybody! Ah, that's much better. Okay, I'm happy with that. Uh, you can heal one. Two! Sweet. And you can do... Kill it. If you spend too long fighting, I believe, you end up with stress anyway. If you press uh, D rather than F, you will move forwards and advance the episode and the game. Right, so now we move to this room. There's no fighting between here and there, so that's fine. There is an obstacle. Quiet! Hang on, is that an obstacle too? Yes. So we may have to go... We, I think I'm going to backtrack rather than try and get through that obstacle. You're going to use this or what? There we go. Get a cash. Uh, that obstacle is going to be extremely stressful if we try and pull it down by hand. What is this? Plus 20% move still skill chance and minus one speed. That could be good for maybe a jester or a high, a, high, a, high, a grave robber. But yeah, it's definitely going to be a lot less stress to go around backtracking than it was, than it would have been to go through that obstacle without a spade, basically. There's basically no stress going on right now. Which is useful. It'd be nice to have some, uh, like these quirks that they have always apply to themselves. It's never a, really a party quirk. Uh, we have um, we have a warrant, a wheeled adventurer, right? Which is, you get less stress damage in the wheeled, <laughs> apparently. Um, but wouldn't it be good if the rest of the party sort of like took some solace in that fact and also took less stress damage in the wheeled? Right, so there's an attack here. Their surprise, which is ideal, because it means we can decide who gets to go. Provided the stuns work, it's going to be not you, Kadeg. Provided the stun... I mean, we could disorient and blast you. Well, it might be worthwhile anyway, because it will bring it into range of other people, yeah. Resisted the stun, though, so I'm not really happy with that. You fuck. I just want to kill it. Because uh, Holmesy here is so stressed already, it would be super good if we could actually... If we could actually kill it! No. Nope. 1 HP away from dying because Viz missed. Thanks, Viz. Well, you're the one who took the stress, so I don't care. Stumbling scratch. So you can see, because that was at the back, it had to take a low chance to hit. It moved it forward, but it didn't get us. So you're dead. So now we'll focus on you. It seems to have worked okay. Viz is the only one who's taken stress damage, stress damage from the. Uh, the Acolyte, I think it was called then. No one's bleeding or blighted, even though we're in the wield, which is, you know, apparently quite standard, that you never actually get the thing that you're expecting to get, which is why you spec out one party and the game gives you the opposite challenge. Dang. Good. I'm hoping this thing now feels very alone and scared. We will try and stun it. 
because then it doesn't get a go. Yeah. Stun comes off. It is now stun resisting, and now we get to. We can't bleed it because it's a skeleton. I hope that should be fairly plain, but we can still just deep. We can still beat the shit out of it as well. Obviously, it was what I was going to say. These nightmarish creatures can be. <clears throat> they can be beaten. This is going well. Is this the last room? It has combat. I knew that, but I forgot to consider it. You do not get to go first, you dick. Acolytes. Yeah. Okay, so you're just going to sw switch around, are you? I'm not a fan of this. If this is how it's going to be, Christ, they all got to go. Well, we'll use a couple of torches. Just one. Has anybody got protection? No. You've got dodge. I'd like there to be a minus dodge, but apparently there isn't. Beasts and marked, and there's a bleed on it. So I guess we just go for one of these standard practice, really. Go for the ones that are causing us stress. Uh, which is you. Go. You are now causing everybody stress too, but I don't care because it means we can beat the shit out of something. Like this. I like the damage that Wraith does and it's spread across two enemies, which is excellent. Now, we will disorienting blast. We might as well try and stun the one that hasn't got any damage done to it, because if it can not do a go and the other one will die, then we've basically solved two problems at once. Uh, we will mark ourselves and repost. It does do a little bit of damage, actually, which is good to know. I, I forgot about that. Because it can bring something into death range. No, and everyone gets to go anyway. Whatever. Repost. Yes. And that's why we do that. We got stress, but we lost stress at the same time, which may have just kept us out of... Uh, out of flipping out range. Good. Excellent. Right. Now you are going to not do that to you. Fine. Uh, I mean, we can disorient it again, but I guess why? Everyone else has a go. So this could actually... Like, this is go for kill them, but... Oh, it died. That was actually really good. That's exactly the right amount of damage. Uh, Crush will do... Like half of its damage, and then Fizz can finish it off. Oh shit! Or we could crit it, lose seven stress, transform back, which de-stresses everybody, including you. Only a little bit, not nearly as much as it stresses out in the first place. Slows us down because now we're presumably we're dizzy or something like that. That's why that's how it works in that anyway. Uh, and we manacles this to avoid it from having a, to prevent it from having a go. I think. And then we get another go. Were you going first anyway? No, you weren't. And we don't really need to use medicine. This is the last battle in the entire map, so we don't need to worry about HP. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Like I think this uh, needs holy water, to be honest. But... Yeah, you can use that. Ooh. Shit! <laughs> if I'd known. Like there's a good there's a chance that it will stress you out, and there's a chance that it'll de-stress you, so um, I guess we might as well take the path with a curio but no trap, right? Cause there's nothing in either room. So we won another five hundred gold from doing that. Might as well keep the lights up. Oh, yeah, okay. Good thing I took the food I did, really. Why have I got five left? Maybe I won some. Uh, we might as well return to the hamlet, there's nothing else to do. That was a, a good mission, I think. Every cleared path and charted route reduces Is any the of these keys? Of no. Shift? No. Enter? No. E? No. Just fucking do it. We got a bunch of. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 deeds. Plus 4, which is 10, I think. I know. No, 6 plus 4 is definitely 10. My point is. I think the plus four is on top of the six that we picked up, not included in. Right, what have we got here? Suffers intense need to do specific actions. So that's going to cause uh, Holmesy there to open stuff as we walk around. It's going to be a pain in the ass. 
But we can do dark runs with Homesy, so that's nice. We've got a Ruins Explorer and a Cove Foe. I think that makes you use things that are religious in nature. And plus 10 prot is pretty good, although Miri doesn't take much uh, flack, to be fair. In fact, the Houndmaster has been an extremely good... Uh, time has passed since I sent that letter. Extremely good character in general. Uh, they've got more stress than we had before, but then again, we started with zero, so it's not a problem. Is everybody... Has anybody leveled up? No. The Nomad Wagon is now unlocked, as is the Survivalist. This is for selling trinkets, and this is for dealing with the um, skills you have when camping, which we haven't come across yet. At home in wild places. And that's okay. She's I would like to survivor. And increase the size of my barracks. Now we've got space for three! There's a jester here. He will be there's a crusader, still. and there's a houndmaster. The well, we like houndmasters, that's for sure. So then, put them in order. And we need to rename them, uh, which involves going to my list of names. Pardon me a second. It's in Google Keep, which involves going over here to Chrome. Please be logged in. Please take less time than the whole of forever to load this. Well, I know that the Jester is already named. Oh my god, what has Chrome done? It's glitched out like a motherfucker. Chester is going to be named... Excuse me. Penelope Puddles. Master of Riddles. Cool. What have you got? Harvest is a bleed on two things, but just that. It doesn't say... It's got a damage mod of minus 50%, but it doesn't say what the damage is to begin with, so... Not great. We've got Finale, which uh, apparently Google Keep has crashed, so I guess we'll do that some other time. Uh, it moves you back three, which is a long way. We'll put us here. We've got Solo, which is forward three, so you do a Solo and a Finale, and it switches you between those two positions, but your preferred position is this one, so... I think... The Jester is one of those ones where you spec out four things that work really well together, but any other four things don't. And we've got Battle Ballad, which is just a... I think it's a self thingy, but it could be an everybody thing. That hits everybody and does uh, accuracy debuff and speeds you up, which gives you a good chance of being able to do the finale first on the next round, which does... Uh, I don't know. What does it do? Debuffs me. What else does it do? Oh, 50% more damage. So it whacks, it whacks one of them who is now debuffed. Ah, uh, that's okay, I guess. Keep, what are you doing? Never mind that. Penelope Puddles, our first jester. We should try and use them at some point, but I'm not quite sure how. Uh, the new Houndmaster could be Snowland. Because he looks like... Look, he's even got a shamrock above his head. We've got exactly the same set of <laughs> skills as Homesy, which obviously makes perfect sense. Because Handmasters have obviously only come with one set of skills, which is these ones. But at least we know how to use it, which is not very much. These two I've not really used at all. I can see that there would be purposes for them, but I think in very specific situations, most of the time we're just using everything to do damage. A uh, weak grip on live has a... Okay. But a uh, ruins explorer is good. And our final person is... Guess we'll name them next episode when I can actually use the internet. I have a, a broken network cable. So I may just be getting massive packet loss. Trying to use Google Keep. But we'll check that out next episode. Uh, and thank you for watching. So until then... Until then... <laughs>